So this is the setup I now have for my uh, gaming PC. It uh, consists of a Ryzen 7 1700X, so just so you can see it there. Um, we've got the 1700X variant. I've chosen the uh, Gigabyte Gaming AB350 Gaming 3 motherboard. It's a pretty cheap but good and reliable one. Um, I managed to pick up because it's really expensive at the moment. Some DDR4 16 gigabyte 3200 megahertz Corsair Vengeance, and then uh, for the GPU, it's a Palit GeForce GTX 1060 6 gigabyte. So obviously, I've got them installed in the computer right now. There's the CPU. Um, I'm running a Cooler Master Hyper Hyper Evo 212. I think it is very reliable, very good. Um, processor cooler. There's the GTX 1060 which is very hard to see um, given the lighting in here. Um, and then obviously the RAM which is kind of up there in the back hard to see. But that's the setup I've got at the moment um, and I'm going to run a few benchmark tests for you to watch. So one thing I do want to mention whilst we are uh, watching some of the benchmark footage is that you'll see the FPS isn't hitting 60. It's some, I don't know, 10, 10 maybe 15, 20% below 60% uh, 60 FPS. And I'm going to attribute, attribute this to the OBS recording software because when I run these benchmarks without recording, I'm getting a solid 59, 60, pretty stable. Um, 60 FPS so we're losing 10% or so to the recording software here um, I'm gonna put the graphic settings up in a second all my options I've tweaked them um, so it fits this type of system um, and just a few things I do want to say um, that I noticed from when I was doing the benchmarking uh, the MSAA setting so the anti-aliasing if that was on eight times um, it completely crippled the FPS down to 10 and it was averaging 15 so um, at two at two times that gives you nice anti-aliasing um, while still having a decent FPS um, the GPU maxed out obviously because it dropped down 10% whereas at two times there was around about 77-80% GPU usage so you've got room there for tweaking up to 4 if you really want to um, and room for other settings to be implemented. When I ran the benchmarks, the CPU sat at about 77% to 88% uh, and fluctuated in between, which is perfectly fine. Um, obviously, you kind of want 100% utilization, but that can incur some thermal throttling. Um, the FPS maintained 55 plus at most times. I'd say 80% of the time it was 60, 60 frames per second. Again, this doesn't. Uh, this wasn't including any recording software, which had an impact on the actual overall FPS values. The um, CPU usage was uh, really low, around about 35 to 40 percent um, CPU usage. That's thanks to the Ryzen 7 and its multi-threaded, multi-core um, processing powers. Okay, so uh, just quickly here, we booted up into GTA, currently in story mode, just as you can see there. Okay, um, in Task Manager, we can see we're using about 12% CPU, and it's actually underclocked itself. We're running at um, 2.3 gigahertz. It can actually obviously clock up to 3.4, um, and this is just a graph showing you the, the utilization at the moment. Memory. So for RAM, we're running at 5.2 GB out of 16, so about a third. And just down at the bottom, the GPU uh, is currently 80% uh, being utilized. Um, quickly, um, it's quite probably hard to tell from video of a screen, but incredibly smooth. Um, I'm just going to go into the settings here to bring up the graphics, and we're going to do we'll just run a benchmark test. So tab on that uh, yes that's fine
Okay, so I'll keep switching back and forth between the, the task manager. Um, but you can see the FPS at the bottom there. Um, pretty much a steady 60 FPS throughout the scenes. Um, just quickly over here, now we're up to still very low CPU usage, still underclocked. Um, the GPU again 80%, so we're really not stressing it too much, but we're locking out that 60 FPS mode. Let's just do one more benchmark test here. Okay, so really no issues, and this is 1080p. Uh, 60 FPS here. There's the utilization again. Barely anything on the CPU, and barely even touching what it's what it's capable of. GPU, yeah, it's taking a bit of uh, the brunt there, which is well, that's what it's meant for. So uh, this is just to show you minus the OBS software. Um, obviously, knocking off 10% earlier. You can see that I'm pretty much locking out 60 FPS here in in pretty much all of the benchmarking scenes. Okay, so I just wanted to quickly go over the MSI um, monitoring log output that I got. So let me just get to the top here because I've just had a quick look through it. Um, I know there's lots of graphs, but I'm going to cover maybe three or four of them. You can see this first one, this details our uh, GPU temperature from the start to the finish of, of the log. Um, the timing of this is 8.30 and I finished it about, let's go right to the end. About 9.05, so it's about 35 minutes, just under 35 minutes of um, running benchmarks and playing the game. And you can see it fits here quite well, so like, let's just look at the GPU usage. So this is when I started to benchmark uh, and run the benchmark scenes. And you can see there, as, as the uh, scenes start to play, the temperature rises, and then after I finish that, the temperature drops back down. Um, again, when I start to do a bit more benchmarking later on and playing some... Uh, some of the game in GTA, you can see it kind of creeps up, but to be honest, the thermals on the um, GTX 1060 6 gigabyte by palette with the dual fan that I have, um, providing these are correct figures, which to be honest, ambient room temperature, they seem to be. Uh, my case has quite good airflow as well. Um, we never hit above 60. The highest we get when we're doing the actual benchmarks, you can see there's 59. So it never goes above 60, even 80 degrees would be fine, but we've still got um, a good 20 degrees of buffer left before we even reach that point. Um, you can see the GPU usage uh, when we're running the benchmarks, we're up at like 93% there, 87% there, 70. Uh, so the different scenes obviously demanding more or less power from the GPU. And then later on when I'm just kind of running benchmarks uh, with some adjusted settings, you can see here the the usage never really creeps above the three quarters mark. Um, sometimes we reach a 99%, um, but ultimately it, it stays around about there. Okay, so just quickly touching on the, the CPU now. Uh, because the Ryzen 7, um, it has, I think it's eight cores with, um, let me just bring up Task Manager here. Yeah, we've got, it's an eight core processor with 16 threads. Um, it's It's incredibly powerful. Um, you can see here the temperature never gets above 60 for the GP, uh, the CPU so um, providing those thermals are correct and the readings are correct we've got great thermals on the CPU um, and the usage of it as you can see here never really goes above 50% it kind of creeps up there for CPU 1 and CPU 2 and 3 and 4 and so on but ultimately the overall usage uh, for when I was monitoring it through um, task manager it never really hit more than 50% overall usage um, which is really good because then you've got extra room there for um, pushing it further and further and be more future proof so I'm just going to quickly skip through these this bit this is all about the, the CPU clocks last thing I want to look at or say sorry there's one more thing before I get to the FPS and that is our RAM usage currently running 16 gig um, for most part we never go over half Okay, 8,500 there, so 8.5 gigabytes used, and then later on, again, 8.3 8 gigabytes. So we still got 50% of our RAM left, there's no worries there. And then just look, quickly looking at the FPS, 
when I was running the benchmarks you can see here it capped out at sort of 270 that's when it was in between scenes loading the scenes and then as you saw in the video we had some lows low 40s low 50s um, and that was obviously when I was recording and then later on after a few tweaks and just doing some more tests um, you can see here that whenever I'm in game okay for some reason there was a steady 30 FPS there and that might not be just during the, the menu system but these uh, 60 FPS here absolutely rock solid 60 FPS all the way through there's a couple of times where it dips um, that was with uh, V-Sync on so it locked at 60 and it was maintaining that 60 FPS at 1080p with pretty much the settings more or less on the very high side um, closer to very high than, than just high there were a few things that I tweaked down to high that personally I wouldn't find um, or notice in the game if they were <laughs> from very high to high so really didn't make that much difference because um, what I'm looking for here is this this locked out this steady 60 FPS which um, after maybe one or two more tweaks I can get rid of these uh, slight drops every so often but in all honesty um, you can see the majority of the time we're locked at 60 FPS with one or two drops which is going to happen it's going to be noticeable you're paying um, X amount and you get X performance if you want to spend two three thousand pound uh, or dollars then you're going to be expecting um, an average if not minimum of 100 frames for GTA uh, GTA 5 so this is just looking at the Ryzen 7 1700X paired with 16 gigs of 3200 megahertz RAM and the GPU of choice GTX 1060 6GB um, from Palette. 